But first tonight at 9, wild video of a school bus blowing through a stop sign. It then collides with a city bus at a Racine intersection. Two people were seriously injured. It happened near Gould and Shoop. Fox 6 is Ashley Sears is live and Ash neighbors say they're not surprised by this. Yeah, Ben, uh, the good news here, no children were on that school bus. Neighbors tell us the problem, though, is this tree. They say it is blocking the stop sign and it is causing big problems in this intersection. It's a little traumatizing. A busy intersection comes to a standstill Wednesday afternoon. It's the first week of school. It's ridiculous. A school bus flipped on its side as a city bus sits smashed in the road. It was bound to happen. Bound to happen. I'm just glad it wasn't worse. Neighbors say they aren't surprised. Doorbell video shows why. As the school bus heads south on Shoop, the driver goes straight through the stop sign, colliding with the city bus headed eastbound on Gould. <laughs> Neighbors blame a problem tree for blocking the street. I've seen people blow that stop sign multiple times because that tree's in the way, because they're not familiar with the area. No children were on the school bus. A driver and assistant were on board. Seven to eight people were on the city bus. Police say both drivers were badly hurt. I get phone calls saying that it was your niece, it's your niece. And I look and I look at the pictures and I see a picture of my niece. Takika High McGee says her niece, Keisha Robbins Lazine, was driving the city bus and suffered a serious leg injury. She was taken to freighter. I'm just praying everybody's come through to get through this and everything be okay. Neighbors around here want the crash to be a wake up so everyone can be safer on the roads. It could have been worse, it could have been much worse. Now, police tell us Flight for Life was called here, but it's unclear if anyone was actually transported to the hospital that way. Now, they say that the passengers on that city bus were treated for some minor injuries. Reporting live in Racine, Ashley Sears, Fox 6 News. That video is just wild. There was no break stopping there. All right, Ash, thanks.